Hey everyone, I got some replacement pads for my headphones on Amazon. And since it wasn't the most obvious thing to do, I figured I would make a video, maybe it helps someone else out. I've got some uh, Sennheiser 598s over here. As you can see, the wear and tear is uh, absolutely fantastic. I've had them for a while, but I believe that any Sennheiser using um, the ring attachment mechanism that you'll see in a little bit uh, should be compatible with this guide so you can follow along if you have one of those. Uh, the actual replacement pads do not have a ring so you can if you squeeze them you'll see that they deform which means that they don't have the plastic ring. So I don't know if I did this by mistake or um, it's intentionally sewed so that you can wrap over the plastic which just felt very ugly. So I decided to modify these a little bit um, and you can see after the modification they fit really nicely. So this is the side that I've already done on the left and this is the really old pads on the right. Uh, you will need some quick materials to do this. Uh, the very minimum you need is a pair of scissors. Uh, I will also recommend you get some sort of uh, adhesive. I got this on Amazon as well a while back and it's served me really well for many projects. Um, so I recommend some sort of adhesive. You'll see shortly uh, why. Now, before we get started, I want to give you a fair warning. These are really old. I've had them for maybe two years. Um, when you take the pads off, and I'll show you in a second how to do that, they'll be absolutely disgusting. Obviously, I've already taken off mine and cleaned them up to save you the horrors on camera, but be prepared. Um, so with that out of the way, let's uh, figure out how to take these off. When you look at them first, you might think that you might damage something if you just pull on them, but that's exactly what you need to do. So if you look inside of the ear pads, you will see that there are several layers and you'll see that there's this rubber layer on the Sennheiser. It might be slightly different depending on which model you have, but if you just grab with your thumb by the rubber area, you can just grab that firmly and pull it off. That's all you need to do. If you're afraid of damaging anything, I don't think it's a valid concern, but if you are, you can always find something uh, not sharp, but flat that you can put around the side of the headphones and that should take off the ring just as well. Now, you might be tempted to dunk these away. Uh, don't do that because you actually need a part from here. Um, as I said, these do not have the attachment ring and you will need an attachment ring to properly attach the headphones here. So the next thing I will do is I will, again, put my finger inside of them and you will notice a plastic ring if I try to squeeze this it's much harder. So all I'm doing is putting my finger inside of there and trying to pop that off. So you can see I started to pop that off and that's it. If you forget which way it's supposed to be oriented because it does have sides, uh, you can always grab the headphones and try to put the ring on. If you put it the wrong way, it will not go on at all. But if you flip it the right way, you'll be able to attach it. So once you've figured out which orientation the ring goes in, uh, for the Sennheiser 598s, you'll see that there's a small lip. I don't know if that applies to all of them. What you need to do is make sure that the same orientation is preserved when putting on the new uh, pads. So because these will be going this way, as in this will be the side facing your ear, you want the pads uh, ring to be facing towards the pads. So. All I'm going to do here is try to put it inside of the sleeve. And this is actually much easier to put in than one of the firm ear pads that you can buy with the actual plastic ring around them. But just try to finesse it in there as best as you can. And that's it. Simple enough. Now you have one of these and you might be tempted to just plop them on and try to make that happen. Um, you might be able to do that if you really try for a couple hours. But instead, what I like to do is I will cut this off to the point of it just touching the ring. So you could try to just cut off a couple of slits for all the attachment points. There's one over here, one at the bottom, and I think three more on either side. You could try to do that, that seems very finicky. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it all the way along the ring. So as you can see, I did a pretty terrible job at cutting it, but it doesn't really matter because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it in place. 
The one important thing here is you want the plastic ring to be exposed. So if you have any pieces sort of like this that are sticking out beyond the plastic ring, you wanna make sure to cut them off because otherwise you're gonna have a heck of a hard time attaching this to the headphones. So I'm just gonna slide this off. If you choose to do that, you could also use an X-Acto knife or anything like that. The reason I don't do that is because it can damage the plastic really easily, whereas the scissors slide right off. All right, so what's the next thing I'm gonna do? I'm going to apply this two-part adhesive. You can use whatever adhesive you have. It doesn't have to be specifically this one. So let me try to slowly apply it all around the ring. And because it's a two-part adhesive, I will have to also apply the spray, but I recommend doing that in a well-ventilated area. For now, all I'm going to do is just go all the way around the ring with the first part and try to get it started. Um, before you apply the second part of the adhesive, it will not stick in place too well, but it will still stick enough for you to get the proper orientation at least. So that's what I'm doing here. Just trying to get, oops, trying to get roughly in the right spot without it sticking to my fingers too much. All right. And I think this is honestly good enough. We will start to at least adhere to the plastic. And the next thing I will do with this sec uh, two part adhesive is I'll take the spray. I will spray it very lightly all around the ring. I'm not gonna do that here because this is my kitchen. Not great to do this sort of thing. So I'll be right back. Okay. And you can see with that out of the way, we should have the ring all around. I recommend pressing firmly on it. Once you have both parts of the adhesive or if you're using a one part adhesive, make sure to go all the way around and firmly press. And you should have a mostly rigid piece. Um, doesn't have to be pretty. This is gonna go on the inside, remember. So I didn't put a lot of effort making it pretty, but at least when you look at it from the side, it should look good. Now is the time you make a decision. Do you want the seam on top or the bottom? Really doesn't matter. I prefer it on the top because I keep my headphones on my desk. So I will keep seeing this side and I would like it to not have a seam. So once I've chosen what, what to do there, it's really a matter of pressing firmly. So you'll see there's gonna be a gap. And as you start pressing around the ring, it'll start to click in place. And you can even click, sort of like you did when you were taking it off go inside the headphone and try to press exactly where the ring is. And I'm not gonna say this is easy, but it's not the hardest thing in the world. You just have to press neatly all the way around the ring and it will get right in there. Okay. And now we have both sides completed and completely replaced. And we can put all these away Obviously you can toss this away, you can toss this away, and you have a brand new looking pair of headphones.